Terminator. Lin Kuei. Stupid machine. Round one. Fight. You are done wreaking havoc, Terminator. My mission is incomplete. It ends now. Round one, fight.
Lin Kuei will banish you. Your clan cannot terminate me. Wishful thinking machine. Round one, fight. <laughs> You got electro nets or rocket launchers? No. Ain't much of a cyber then. Round one. Fight! Magic is an artificial construct. You're not from around here, are you? Round one, fight.
future secured. Final round. Fight! No legion in Earthrealm. Not yet. That sounds ominous. Round one, fight. Get over here! Effective strategy. Round two, fight! Your machine ancestors do not exist in this realm. Then I have come to the incorrect past. You will bring no death or destruction here. Round one, fight!
I have been expecting you. Your life, your name, they will be wiped from history. Come, it is time to die. Round one, fight. It was an epic accident that brought the Terminator here, rather than to his own Earth's past. But it didn't take long for him to adapt. He figured that terminating Kronika and taking her hourglass gave him the best chance at achieving his mission objective. Destroying humanity so that the machines prevail. Turns out the hourglass wasn't the ultimate weapon. No matter how many times the Terminator rebooted history, the war between humans and the machines always ended the same, with their mutual destruction. He realized this war was a losing game. The only way to win was not to play. So the Terminator used the Hourglass to build a future where machines and humans don't fight. They cooperate. The Terminator knew that to preserve this future, no one else could learn about the Hourglass. The information stored in his machine mind was dangerous. It had to be eliminated. That's why the Terminator threw himself into the infinite depths of the Sea of Blood. No one would ever find him, or unlock the Hourglass's secrets. If you could ask him about it, he'd tell you he made the only logical choice. But in my book, that machine's a hero.